in the previous lesson, we've established that the reason we know an object is charged is that it exerts a force on other objects. Let's look further into this force. How does the force change? We know that if we charge two balls, the force between them will increase as you bring them together. We also know that if you charge them more, there will be more force between them. For balls at least, no other factors have been found. So we want to know how exactly the force depends on these factors. I'll be giving an overview of Coulomb's law and how to use it, and then I'll be um, giving some explanation on each of these terms in the equation. In this lesson, I will be commonly referring to the force attributed to Coulomb's law as the electrostatic force. This naming is due to the fact that Coulomb's law applies to objects that are electrically charged and not moving, that is static. If there are moving charge, just there will be additional forces from the charges on each other because the magnetic field is produced by the moving charges as well. We will discuss the topic of magnetic fields in another chapter. For now, let's look at Coulomb's law.